Okay, here's some homework help, real quick video for the questions for 5-7, the distance learning part one homework. The first two questions you need to read and understand from recalling from the notes. The third question, this has both bases need to be reduced down to a power of two. Like that, distribute, and then once you get the bases the same, set the exponents equal. Now this one gets really, really hairy because once you get everything on the left side, it's a quadratic, but the leading coefficient is five. So here's how you factor this one. You uh, drop the negative eight, you multiply the five times the negative four to get this negative 20. Just the same thing we always do, what numbers add up to this, but multiply to this. Well, it's negative 10 and plus two. And I know before I've had you guys divide by the leading coefficient, but that's kind of janky. I want to do it this way now. Bring down the negative 10. You see how negative 10x plus 2x equals negative 8x? Why don't I write it out like that? Bring down the 5x squared and the negative 4 on the outside. And then the negative 8x is just rewritten like this. And then we factor by grouping. Here's a good, remember, or a good way to remember factor by grouping. So the GCF of the front is 5x. And the GCF of the back is 2. And look what? What's left over in the parentheses? X minus two, that's our new GCF. We factor out that X minus two and rewrite the what's left over inside and then use zero product property and those are the two answers. I wanna do that one more time live and in person so you can see it. Okay, let's factor this one. So we drop the negative 11, multiply the six times negative 10, that's negative 60. What two numbers add up to this but multiply to this? Well, in this case, it's negative 15 and plus four. So I'm just gonna rewrite those to make the negative 11x, bringing down everything, six x squared minus 15x plus four x. That's how I get to negative 11 and then minus 10. And let's factor by grouping. Let's see what comes out of here is a three x, I think, is a GCF. What's left over is two x minus five. And what's the GCF of these two? I think it's a two. And what's left over if I factor out a two? Well, is that the two X minus five? Aha, it is. Okay, so the GCF is two X minus five and what's left over three X plus two. And if you were to multiply those back together, do a double distribution, you would find out it equals that. Okay, that was one homework problem, long video.